Hello Hattrickers, we're here for the 54th episode of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino with Inter Calvahale. We are approaching the two season mark with the cycles in Denmark and in San Marino. So in a few weeks, we will be taking a closer look at the cycles uh, and compare the assets and how far we've come and see which uh, cycle is probably the strongest. Um, so we'll be looking at that in the near future. Let's take a look at the midweek friendly against the team in Denmark, where we uh, didn't get extra time despite playing cup pools. We did try, but a special event for the Danish team made it so that we didn't get extra time in this match. Unfortunately, Francioni did run into an injury, a one-week injury, playing 83 minutes in that match, and um, hopefully he'll be back very soon. Let's take a look at this week's training. So uh, we did actually see four relevant pops for the cycle this week. We had Sanachi popping from formidable to outstanding defending and Franchi only popping as well despite the injury, solid to excellent. For the profit players, we do have William Davis popping from solid to excellent and the, the big player, arrangement player, Yaku Kiva popping from inadequate to passable. Taking a look at the sheet now, we start out by looking at Sanachi and his uh, HTMS 28 bumping up to 21. 32 a nice uh, nice little jump in that value for sure and having those double outstanding lined up here is uh, starting to look nice at Sanachi. He's uh, on the brink of uh, his 19th birthday and uh, he's uh, progressing according to the plan, surely. Uh, we also have Frangioni, not quite as talented as Hoss, but at uh, 2035 he's, uh, he's getting there, surely. And the pop for William Davis to excellent here sets him at 1753 and uh, we are actually looking to move William Davis on now in the process in order to obviously realize some profit and move on to some goalkeeping training, I think. We do need to have an active bid for William Davis before we can actually look for the replacement. If we move on to his profile here, you'll see that his transfer compare now is around 4 million euros. So it's about time we move him on if we can. In the youth department, we did play a match against B9086 under 19s. And uh, if we look at the performances here. We did remember to play Trustuli in the midfield this time. It didn't reveal anything super interesting. But um, looking at the training, we will see that we did in fact get the pop I was talking about last week, the pop to inadequate. Uh, playmaking for um, Meletti, and that means that uh, a little race against time here, but we should be on course to make triple passable now if we can just uh, continue the training, the playmaking, and passing. The difference here is uh, if we look at it in the youth club, you, you'd see that you would need seven matches from uh, inadequate to passable. But the fact of the matter is that the hat trick training uh, calculator actually does it's only six matches, so I'm quite positive because we can also play two for at least in the process we might even have a chance to look at his defending now let's have a look see if uh, Meletti gets a friend to uh, to train with along the way at least a relevant one so Giorgio Bolini this week's scout call number one let's see 16 years old inadequate defending but he's the first we shouldn't accept this Risaliti 15 years old all-rounder inadequate he, he could actually play along uh, Meliti. As an adequate 15 years old, he's not spending a lot of that playmaking skill because he can only reach weak in scoring. We give this guy a chance, Mengini Elitio. And what we will make sure to do this time is we will put him in the lineup immediately instead of Pirini, uh, I think. He's not uh, anything special. And uh, we'll have a look, see if uh, Ciro Bompen will be able to play that match. Let's send the autos straight away. Okay, that's it for the youth department. We have news in the transfer department. We did sell William Davis and received approximately 3.6 million euros for uh, William Davis. In this transfer, he transferred to a club called Single Malt Whiskey Boys. Pretty good. 
we are looking to find a replacement before the friendly in the coming week. The final thing we have to do in this week's episode is to look at the match against AC Kiesanova and uh, we did come up with an utter destruction of the bots in this one. We won 8 goals to nothing. Uh, the only thing bad to say about this game was the fact that none of our trainees scored. Sonati, what are you doing? Camellini, not doing uh, anything in the goal scoring business as well. That's a little disappointing. So uh, no highlights this week simply because it was just a match against a bot team. Like usual, I want to thank everyone for watching the series and watching the channel in general. Hopefully you'll be joining on Sunday when we live stream the next round in San Marino. Even though it could be a little more entertaining not playing against boss, that's the situation right now. But come talk Hattrick and have a good time on Sunday evening where we'll be streaming around 9 p.m. Hattrick time for the 10th league round in San Marino. Till then, have a great time in Hattrick. I'll see you guys soon.